The end of sports dynasties are always hard to predict because usually by the time you figure out something's wrong, the team is already in decline. And the Patriots are as tough as any dynasty to pin down because every time they hit a low point, every time when you say, you know what, they're vulnerable. Every time when you say, you know what, they don't have the weapons. Oh, Brady, getting older. Then they come back and haunt you. And there's temptation now to say it's over. Brady at 41 lost Josh Gordon yesterday. And normally, you know, that's not a huge concern with New England. They have a lot of plug-and-play players. This seems a little bit different. They're especially thin at the wide receiver uh, core. And uh, Rob Gronkowski is moving like I do, and that's not good for a 29-year-old. But the last thing I'm going to do is say they're dead because – if things fall the way they want them to, they could be the number two seed in the AFC. And who knows? A conference title game could be in Foxborough. So as bleak as things look here, this is one dynasty that I refuse to write off. And it would be easy to write them off. You know, listening yesterday, watching yesterday, reading yesterday. Yep, this is it. Brady, finally starting to show. Not yet. You know, I got to wait. I, I want to wait until I see the clock tick down and then I would officially put dirt on them and say, all right, now they're dead, at least dead for this season. You know, maybe check with me late January here, because even though I love the Chargers, if you said Chargers are playing the Patriots and they're playing in New England, it's hard not to still side with New England just because they're the Patriots. They're nowhere near as talented as the Chargers are. Nowhere near. But that time of the year in that place, with those two people, Brady and Belichick, I mean, they, they're used to being written off. You know? and, it, and it's a dynasty that you, it feels like every year we, you know, we're hoping ends. Instead of enjoying it for what they've done with that consistency, and, you know, I mean, this is historical. They're going to win 10 games. This will be, I think, the 16th year that they've done it, something crazy like that. Uh, so if you're, you know, you got to have one win in their final two games to get to a 10-win season. They will tie the Niners with 16 consecutive seasons where they won at least 10 games. New England's done 15 in a row. San Francisco did it back. This was uh, 1983 to 1998. Pretty amazing to do that because it's, it's San Francisco at 16. Then it's New England. And then you have to go down to the Colts, 2002 through 2010. So next on the list is nine consecutive seasons. Really amazing to be able to do it. And it feels like even harder to do it now for the Patriots because you have so many players changing places where San Francisco, when they were doing it, you were able to lock in and keep those players for a little bit longer than you do now. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.